Use the gauge. To... I, I, I didn't ask you for help because it, like, it, it, it takes a while to develop that ask for help reflex, okay? Did you find something in those files that you didn't already know? I just got a peek. You know, I saw a name, Emily Ryan, deceased. You think she was your mother? I don't know. I already knew she was dead. I remember... I was real little, but... But, hey, I uh, scored a three-pointer on my old man at the buzzer just before the rent cop grabbed me. You learned something about your father? Yeah, um... He and Emily were still married when she died, so I guess that means he is my father. Richie, if he was your father, don't you think he would have contacted you by now? When I was a kid, I made up a story. I pretended he was like a, a spy or something, doing dangerous stuff behind the Iron Curtain or whatever. That's why I couldn't just, like, put in a collect call and say, I want to talk to my son, Richie Ryan, the all-American boy. Impressment? Kid stuff. Now, who knows? I mean, maybe he's tried to find me. It's not like my face is on a carton of milk. Suffered a great loss. You've lost a kinsman and a son. He led you fearlessly, with no thought of himself. And now you must go back to the fight, with no thought but of him, with no name on your lips but his. Duncan McLeod! Duncan McLeod! It is a miracle. No, it is the work of the demon master of the world below. Father, you are no better mine. You are no my son. You think we should have looked for him then? Who? Jack Ryan, Richie's father. Yes. Everybody should have a chance to have a father. What? I wouldn't lay hands on finding him. Tell us. If I started telling you everything that ever happened to me. Let me be the judge of that. Father couldn't grasp what had happened. <laughs> Who could? Man, he must have freaked. I mean, there you were, all of a sudden, on your feet again. Zombie in a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I was more terrified than he was. We were a primitive clan. Primitive and superstitious. You know, fear ruled our lives. What lay on the other side of the mountains was beyond imagination. 
Then can you blame your father? I did it first. There were days in that first bit of winter in the Highlands that I just wanted to die. But I couldn't. Anyway, my family problems are history. Riches are here and now. You know there's a proverb in northern India? If you go hunting tigers, be sure you're prepared to find one. Meaning, I might not like what I find. Why do you want to know that? After all this time, there must be a reason why your father hasn't contacted you. Think about that, Richie. I have. Do you remember anything before the orphanage? Not much. There was a woman. Your mother, Emily Ryan? I don't know. I guess she must have been. I can't picture her face, but I remember every Friday we used to go to the post office. I never figured out why, but I loved it. Man, I wanted to be a mailman something fierce when I grew up. <laughs> and then right down the street there was this candy store. It was run by this sweet old guy called Stubbs. I remember Stubbs because I couldn't manage his name, so I used to call him Mr. Tubby. <laughs> he thought that was hysterical. He was as thin as a pencil. She'd buy me licorice, and he'd let me look at the pictures in the comics. After all, I couldn't read yet. Why remember that? What was so special about the candy store? One day, Mom, uh, Emily, was, uh, chatting with Mr. Stubbs, and suddenly she put her hand to her forehead, said something like, I feel funny, and then she just fell to the floor and didn't move. I thought she was playing a game, so I'm like pushing her and laughing, and, and then the ambulance came, and lots of people running around, and, and I took her away. Mr. Stubbs picked me up in the air, says, Well, lad, what are they going to do with you? That's why I remember Mr. Stubbs' candy store. What part of town was this in? You got me there. Huh? I was four going on five. Who knew geography? I barely find my way to the bathroom. Mr. Stubbs' candy store. Well, it's a start. It's not going to be in there. Guy was pretty old even back then. Must have cashed in his chips by now. Yeah, but you said the candy store was near a post office. <laughs> 